Tom Karen with you. We'll be sending you down to Southwest Florida in just a couple of minutes and have a writer's roundtable that we begin our coverage of this team right up to the first Grapefruit League games coming at the end of next week. But we begin here with a special guest, the one and only Jerry Remy starting off. And uh, Jerry, news around New England today. A lot of people caught by surprise. You came out publicly and said again this offseason uh, you were diagnosed with, with a cancer uh, coming back. What happened? When did you find out? And what did they do? Well, first of all, I, I'd like to say, you know, that the, the reason that I'm, I'm doing this publicly is because a number of years ago when I had cancer for the first time and then I was followed by depression, I got a tremendous response from people, you know, who thought, thought that they were helped by that. So, you know, I could have sat on this without anybody knowing, but I decided it was, you know, after a lot of deliberation that it was probably the best thing to come forward. Uh, not only for my bosses, but uh, for people out there, because, you know, if there's any way that I can help five people get to see their doctor, you know, uh, once you see a doctor, that means early detection, you know, and there are so many people, as you know, TC, that, you know, they avoid their doctor for whatever reason. They might be afraid of bad news. They may be they're too busy. They don't have time to do things. And, you know, I, I feel that, and I was one of those. I was one of those many years ago. And uh, I, I really feel very strongly right now from what they have done for me over the past 10 years is that uh, it is critical to, to, you know, keep your doctor's appointments, keep your, your checkups, because if anything comes up, I mean, they're right on top of things. And I've had great care at Mass General, tremendous care at Mass General, led by Dr. Don Dr. Ronan, who basically saved my life by finding my first cancer uh, a number of years ago. So that's my message, and that's, that's really why I... I wanted to come forward with this. This is the fourth time you've been diagnosed uh, with that cancer. And after the initial uh, diagnosis of surgery, each time since, you've found out because of early detection. Absolutely. Routine checkups, never a symptom. Uh, if you waited that long, you probably would be in a lot more trouble. That's kind of the message you're getting out to people. With, without question, you know, they, they keep a, a tight rein on me. You know, every three months I'm in for a CAT scan. And uh, <clears throat> I've had some clean ones, and I've had some that have not been so clean. So. Um, you know, but that enables them in that short period of time uh, to be able to locate things, deal with it, you know, whether it be through the first time I had it was surgery, which was pretty uncomfortable, but to get the job done. And then I had a couple of bouts of radiation. And now this last time uh, was a different procedure where they basically went in biopsy type with a very hot needle and kind of burn the cancer out. It's supposed to blister. I'm not exactly sure what, you know, what uh, it does, but uh, that's really the stage I'm at now. So the heavy lifting pretty much is over. Now it's kind of a waiting period for me where I have to go back in on March 1st. Um, I'm not allowed to fly right now. And on March 1st, they gotta be taking another CAT scan and that should show the healing process in my lungs. And at that time, get the green light <clears throat> to be able to go down to spring training and do what I want to do. So assuming that all uh, works as planned, uh, that you get the good news, uh, you'll, you're ready to go for the season right now, you feel you're a ready Absolutely, to go. yeah. You know, with the new schedule I got this year, I don't, I'm not scheduled to do a game till the final week of spring training anyway. So I've got some extra time, and I totally expect to be there for those games and totally expect to do the 115 during the regular season uh, that, I, that I'm uh, planning to do. So, uh, I, and I'm really looking forward to it. You know, for me, it's a... Obviously, it's a passion that I, you know, I still enjoy doing, and it also is a, um, a release for me to get away from some of this other stuff, you know, to keep your mind off uh, some of the issues that are going on health-wise and, and get you back into that baseball world where uh, you don't think about it as much. It's all you've known. It's all you've done, right? The That's player, all I've done. You've coached for a year. You've been with us. Yeah. How many years in the organization? Well, it'll be coming up on 40 in the organization, and this will be my 30th uh, in the broadcast booth. So, you know, it's hard to believe when I think back at it. And it's hit me this, this offseason that, you know, for almost half my life I've been broadcasting Red Sox baseball, and for more than half my life I've been a member of the Red Sox organization. So, I mean, to me that's, you know, I, I kind of had to shake my head when I really sat down and thought about that. So I'm looking forward to the season. You know, I'm looking forward to, to get this obviously behind me. And, um, you know, big, big shout out to the uh, folks at Mass General. They, 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 they are such a wonderful crew over there. They, uh, they're on top of me all the time. They've done magnificent work with me. So, and as I said, Dr. Larry Rohn, and I can't say enough about him because he's the guy that really got me started, found the first cancer. Uh, without him, I'd probably be dead today.
Well, I, I, again, I had a very brief scare with cancer. You've been, in many ways, for a lot of people, almost the, the public face of, of what it means to fight cancer. And I know that's not really a comfortable position for you. It wasn't comfortable when, when my news right. came out and people talked right. to you. But as you said earlier, if you save a life, if, if you get five people to get checked, yeah. th that makes all this. I know this hasn't been easy for you, and you went right. public with your depression after the initial diagnosis, right. but you've helped a lot of people. That has to mean a lot. Yeah, I got a lot of response from that, you know, and I, I, was, I was chatting with my doctors, and, and um, you know, I, I really didn't know what to do, you know, and they kind of encouraged me along to go public with it because they did feel that, you know, the first time that I did brought a lot of awareness about depression and about cancer. And the response was very good. So, I mean, if, if I can affect in some way, small shape, you know, people, you know, seeing their physicians for regular checkups and, 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 and you know, God forbid something's wrong with them, uh, you get early detection if it's a cancer and your chances of survival are, you know, much improved than if you're not seeing a doctor and it just grows and grows. So, um, you know, I hope, I hope by making this message, and it's something like, that didn't come easy for me, uh, that I am able to help some people with this. And um, um, I, I, I just, you know, being in the hospital, being around case, uh, uh, cancer patients, uh, seeing what a lot of them have gone through, um, it's kind of a fraternity. Uh, it sounds kind of weird, but it is. And there's some kind of comfort level when you're around those people. Um, that makes you feel like I'm going to be okay. I know you've used the word lucky a few times over the weekend as I've spoken with you. It's hard to imagine anybody feeling lucky going through this. I, I, I have been. I, you know, you're right, TC. You know, you know how you, how you feel when you, you're diagnosed with something like, like that. And uh, I am lucky that it's always been caught early and it hasn't spread to other parts of my body. When you take a, a PET scan uh, like I did, um, you know, it shows your whole body. And everything's fine. Everything's clean. And so, uh, you know, in many respects, I have been l very lucky with this. And, you know, I unfortunately am paying prices of bad behavior in the past uh, as I get older. And um, but now, you know, that's done and I've got to deal with them. So, you know, hopefully it's my last time. I hope that every time that uh, I go in for a CAT scan, I, I still get nervous. You know, the month before the CAT scan, I start to think about it. That's why baseball is so good for me. I, <laughs> you know, then it saves me, like, not thinking about it until yeah. a week before. We need you thinking about baseball. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, so I, I uh, yeah, another round is is basically completed, and uh, hopefully it's going to be the last round. Yeah, here's that. We're lucky to have you back.